Another thing I want to mention, which um, this is from NLP, but I've used this in gun classes like since like 2000, 2001. But I use this little model in every one of my classes. Um, and I went through my slides so you make sure you guys could see them and back on this one also because um, it's harder to see some of it. But this one is just, if you, if you Google the four stages of competency, you'll see this on Wikipedia. So I like this little graph because only recently did I see them add this next part of it. But for you guys who don't know the four levels of learning or the four stages of competence, it's unconscious incompetence. And does anyone know what that means? You don't know that you suck. Exactly. You don't know shit, and you don't even know you don't know shit. So the analogy for that is, let's say, uh, driving a car. So if you're a, a baby in the back seat, you know nothing about driving a car, and you don't even realize you don't know nothing because it's just out of your reality. Okay? Conscious incompetence. Since you raised your hand, what's that one? You know that you suck. Exactly. You know you don't know shit. So that's like when you're a kid and you're like, I, I want to drive a car. Like maybe you sit on dad's lap for the first time. And uh, you're looking at all these knobs and switches and dials and you can't reach the gas pedal and the mirrors and it's confusing. So you know you don't know shit. Then the third phase is conscious competence, which means. Let's say if you're shooting a basketball, if you focus on your form actively, you can get a good shot going. So and it's an analogy. The definition, let's say, is with conscious thought, you can perform the correct action. Okay. And the conscious mind can handle, they say, five variables plus or minus two. Okay. What does that mean? That means when shit hits the fan, you're not going to rise to the occasion and magically become the punisher or something. You're going to just default to your lowest level of training. But I, I teach this in pickup because guys who go out, they're like, I need to work on body language. I need to work on hand gestures. I need to work on my eye contact. I need to work on my vocal projection. My vocal tonality, I mean, there's so many things right there, that's so many variables, that your conscious mind's gonna get overwhelmed just with that. And I've gotta to talk to a girl, and I've gotta approach her, and I gotta pay attention to what she's saying. So right there, just from NLP, that becomes overwhelming. So this is why you just have to small chunk things. So I would go out and for like literally one week just focus on eye contact. Doesn't matter what I said or anything, it was just that. So if we're taking it into the martial arts world, or firearms training, um, if, if like, let's say we went and did a firearms lesson, the first thing when we're shooting a gun, like our, our first one to two lessons I'm gonna work with you, is side alignment and trigger control, which is just basically two variables. Because five plus or minus two, that means three on your worst day, okay? So right there, that's it. Conscious competence with no distraction, nothing else. I can do something correctly if I consciously focus on it. The fourth level, which is where we wanna to get to, is unconscious competence, which means what? Exactly. Subconscious or unconscious mind, you can just do it. So Steve, I think, just popped out, but how many guys here have done Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu before? Okay. So any of you guys who just raised your hand, even if you've only trained for like a month or two, but how long have you trained for? One year. Okay. A year. Things are ingrained in muscle memory now. If some guy came up behind you and just tried to sneak a rear naked choke on you, what's your first reaction going to be? Roll yep. And tuck the chin. Yeah. Boom. You're just pulling it in with no thought. If you're at a bar and some guy starts doing that, instantly you're defending it. Well, how did you get to that level? A year of training. How many times a week? Five. Five times a week? Yeah. Good. I used to go like two or three. That's good. Um, what I like, though, with this hierarchy of competence is that I, and I only recently saw this when I was, I was doing phone coaching with one of my guys, and I told him to Google it so he could look at the triangle, and they added these four. I hadn't seen them before. But if you're unconsciously incompetent, that means you have the wrong intuition. So I remember, how old are you? Okay, so when I started doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu back in 98, 99, which I don't know how old, what, how old you were back then, but first UFCs that just came out, I started doing it. I did a couple cage fights, two and one, but it was style versus style. But I remember telling some guys that I knew about Jiu-Jitsu and about choking people out and stuff, and one of the guys was like, oh, that wouldn't work on me. And I was like, what do you mean? He goes, because I have the will not to tap out. And I was like, like we all know how stupid that is now. Like guys are laughing. But back in the day, people still believe that. When the first UFCs came out, people didn't buy that stuff. And that's because he had the wrong intuition. So guys who've never shot a gun before, it's, it's the people who like to be the most vocal and argue with me about this stuff are the people with the least amount of training or experience. So the guys who've never shot a gun before or even held one love to argue to death about their beliefs on firearms and laws and legalities. So just right now, just FYI, if, I don't, like I said, I don't want to get into those debates on camera, but I'm happy to later. I'm happy to crush you later on those. But wrong intuition, it's because it's going through the wrong filter. So if someone's saying that to you like about jiu-jitsu, like two guys behind you laughed when we said that. But do people, are there people who still believe that? 
That's what you say, or tap or snap. But do people still believe that a chokehold wouldn't work on them, like kung fu guys and stuff? And you're like, yeah, all the time. You're like, oh, here we go again. So um, then you get to conscious incompetence, which is the wrong analysis. So then if you watch those old Gracie in action videos, the guy would get tapped out, and he'd get up. He's like, OK, well, let's do it again, because it's going to be different this time. So even though he knows he doesn't know how to stop the choke, he's doing the wrong analysis. Same thing with pickup. Well, I went out and talked to this girl, but this didn't work out. Well, that's because of this. And you, your mind isn't at a level yet where you can understand it, so you're, you have the incorrect analysis. Then you start getting better, like when you start rolling for a year or five times a week. Someone gets you in something, maybe it hits you like, I had trained for a while, I stopped. When I moved out to LA, I started training again, started going to 10th Planet. And um, like the Darce choke wasn't out when I first did Jiu Jitsu. Now it's very common. So I got Darce like five times in a row. And I was just like, all right, what's going on here? What am I doing wrong? Because it wasn't like this back in the day. So I had the correct analysis and I figured out how to counter it. And then eventually, right intuition, um, guys who are martial arts masters, I could come up and show them some little variation of a move they've never seen, but they're going to react positively and do something correct because their intuition is at such a high level. Same thing when you talk to a, like a dating coach or a PUA coach, where you're like, well, what would you do in this situation? And I've never been in that exact situation before, but chances are my solution is going to be better than your guys' solution because I've trained and done this stuff for years and I have more experience to draw on. Common, makes common sense, right? Perfect black and white common sense, okay. So this is the phase you go through for everything when you're learning. So once you understand the process, you can do it more effectively.